Before we begin, click subscribe to stay up to date with all of our newest video content. The CS3 tip of the day is about Acumatica business events. Our company story is about improving our cash flow, fixing our expense plan process. We're going to do that by creating a business event for us today. Our business event will create an expense claim for each of the employees pictured on screen. And we'll then review how the expense claim screen works, build a GI, and then create a business event with an import scenario that will create a expense claim for each one of those managers. The expense claim has three main areas that we need to focus on. Who it was claimed by, the date of the claim, and the description. We create an attribute to show who's going to be participating in this monthly expense claim creation process. We need to attach our attribute to our employee classes, and then we also need to attach it to each of the employees who will show up on our generic inquiry that will be part of our business event. We create a generic inquiry based off of our employee table, put it into our hidden inquiries, and add the fields that will be used in creating our import scenario in a few moments. And that will wrap up our first few items here. Now what we're really going to be focusing on is getting our business vets events set. Business events have a lot of benefits. They can send emails, trigger mobile notifications, or even trigger import scenarios like our example is doing here. Create a new business event, give it an event ID, then we'll tie it to our generic inquiry screen name up here in the right hand corner. We want to give it a description. I'm just going to copy the ID down. Then we'll go find our generic inquiry in our hidden inquiries. We really don't need anybody to be running this. It's just the system that's going to be running in the background, and that's why it's a good idea to put it in this generic hidden section. Now, our record could be triggered by a record change, but instead we're going to do this on a schedule because it's going to be a once-a-month item. So we click Schedules. There's no created schedules for it, so we'll just use the handy Create Schedule button. Go in here and set the execution limit to none. Then we want to keep one history. That way we can always go back and view it. Then we go in and set our monthly schedule, and we can pick the specific day of the month, or we could pick on the last Friday of a month, and uh, last the first, second, last Friday of the month, etc. In this particular case, we're going to pick the 20th of the month. That gives us our 10-day leeway for people to go ahead and do their thing. And then we are going to set this to run no conditions and no filters because our generic inquiry is doing all the filtering for us. Uh, we will go ahead and give this a description and then in a second come back to that schedule tab and set this to run at midnight. That way it is ready for that next morning, every morning. You can notice there in the action name that it's going to raise the business event. Uh, once our schedule is complete, we can add our subscriber, which in this case will be our import scenario. We need to give the scenario a name. Uh, usually using BE is my standard in, so that all these things kind of tie together. We'll go in here, we'll create a very simple import scenario off the expense claim screen. Our provider object is going to be our current results. We could pick from previous results or the current results. Then we just need to go in and add all of the items that are going to be filled in. The reference number, the claim by, the date. We'll actually use equals one for our reference number here, which just means that it's going to create one reference number automatically numbered by the system. Once that's complete, we'll have our business events all up and ready to go. Come in here and hit the View History button. 
and see if it's been ran yet. And of course, it's not the 20th, so it hasn't. We'll just mark off our to-do list and then go look at the automation schedule status in our system management menu. And this will show us whether or not that has proceeded. And if not, when the next time it will run will be. And you can see it there, BE, create expense claim, scheduled to go on January 20th, 2020, which is what we had expected. But just to test it out, let's go ahead and modify that date that it's going to run and let's set it to run 15 minutes from now and that way we can get a pretty good idea on whether or not our scenario works and if it's going to be good or not actually i do set this just one minute in the future we got lucky with a nice round time but we'll wait in video time for a minute click yay it's done it did run we got the green ball there that indicates that it ran successfully uh, we can go over to our time and expenses claims and see that each one has been created for each of those managers successfully and our import scenario worked on our business event fired and we could go back and modify the schedule and have it ready to go for next month i hope you guys found this video please don't hesitate to contact us here at cs3 if you have any questions or need help creating your own business events was this video helpful Click subscribe to see more videos like this one.